what just happened, but we got disconnected. But hallelujah, I praise God right now in the name of Jesus. I know the enemy don't want this word to get out. So my God, hallelujah, I'm coming to you now, my live from Texas. My God, in the name of Jesus. My God, I know he don't, but Lord God, I'm going to go right on and pray. Father, I pray now, Shabba. My God, you are magnificent. You are, my God, my God. Oh, you are so good. You are so kind to us. You are full of mercy and grace. You're full of truth, Hashanda. Oh, God, and we bless you right now for your presence right now in this room. Lord, we pray, Hashaba. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. God, hallelujah, how great thou art. My God, there's nobody like you. You are the only wise God. You are the only true God. My God, filled with love and majesty and dominion. You are great. Bless you now, my Lord. My God, be lifted up in the light of your people everywhere be exalted from the earth my god my god you are our king our lord hallelujah our god our father shababu we bless you we worship you out of the depths of our soul and our very being we bask in your presence we bow before you the holy god Hashanda, the righteous god hallelujah the true god hallelujah we bless you now we fill our mouth with praise for the great things you have done in our behalf the things you have done in our life for your name shake things you have done from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sink the healing of our body the healing of our mind the healing of our limbs we bless you lord for it is through you we move and have our being i pray now lord as i go forth hallelujah to speak your word in the name of jesus the lord you will anoint me in a teaching matter open up your scriptures open up your word my god that we may have a clear understanding of what the Spirit, hallelujah, my God wants to impart unto his people this day. I bless you, God. Bless my family, God. In the name of Jesus, uh, while we're absent one from another, watch over them and cover them with your blood. Uh, look on my brethren in the gospel uh, that preach it, hallelujah, uh, in season and out of season. Uh, I pray for them that they, my God, their strength fail them not. Uh, that God, they go boldly in the things you have decreed for them to do. For your glory of your kingdom. Uh, I pray for them, God, that their faith not fail them. Uh, but Lord have your way in their lives I pray God hallelujah for the missionaries those that operate hallelujah in foreign fields I pray for them that you will cover them with your blood that you will lead them and guide them that your name be my God exalted in the midst of the people Lord I pray Jesus hallelujah for thy loved ones in the hospital. I pray that God you will send your healing virtue to where they are, God, hallelujah, and heal them according to our faith. We release it and we speak blessings and healing over their lives. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we pray, God, hallelujah, 
for the communities which we live. We pray, my God, that you would have your way. There will be no loss of life. That God, hallelujah, your spirit, my God, will sanctify the neighborhood. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I pray for those that are looking for answers. That God, you open up their eyes. Open up their ears that they may hear and see that the Lord is good. Oh, go glory. Hallelujah. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Each day we rise is because you willed it so. The only way we move and have our being is through you. And I pray this prayer right now, Lord that God you will move, move through these United States, move throughout the land. Lord, hallelujah, have your way, Lord. Have your way in our government, in our community, in our schools. Have your way, Lord, in the earth. Have it right now. Excuse me. Mm. Bless you, Lord. And we thank you. For you are our King and our Lord. And we acknowledge that. Have your way right now. Oh, my God. I don't know why these allergies acting up now. The blood of Jesus. Ah, have your way, Lord. Let me get into this because I am so excited. And first of all, I want to apologize. I allowed myself to be distracted yesterday evening when I told you I will be coming back to speak this word. And I'm sorry. And I, this man of God truly apologizes that I did not. But I am here now this morning, and usually I don't come in on, on Saturdays and Sundays, but I am here now to finish up this word with you. And I'm going to talk about this until God says enough. Ah, uh, Okay. Yesterday we went to the 53rd chapter of the book of Isaiah. And I started at the first verse, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little further today. It said, "Who have believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed?" Wow. Who God has given insight of what He is doing, for He shall grow up before Him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He have no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see Him. Look at here. There is no beauty that we shall desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. We hid as if our faces were from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. We wouldn't lift him up. Surely he had bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of God and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed mm, 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 mm. all diseases every illnesses by his stripes we are healed all we this is all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the lord have laid on him my god the iniquity of us all he was oppressed he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he was brought as a 
lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. Who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. He made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he hath done no violence, neither was there any dis discreet in his mouth, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Neither was there any deceit in his mouth, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou hast made his soul an off uh -oh. when thou hast made his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. He was numbered with the transgressors, he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressions. Wow. He made intercession for the transgressors. He made intercession for the transgressors. Wow. He made his grave with the wicked. And with the rich of his death, because he hath done no violence, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Wow. Whew. Here, as I even spoke, Father, bless the beginning of the word, sanctify deep in our hearts. Here, Isaiah. God gives glimpse a porthole for the prophet Isaiah to see God's intent for the earth. And in it, he said he gets a glimpse of what the messenger Jesus Christ, the Son of God, would have to go through here on earth. To accomplish his goal, he had to go this way. My God. Whew. Wow. Look at this. My thought for you today. Is Jesus is the answer for the world today. He was then. He is now. Mm. Someone may be asking themselves, well, why would Jesus come anyhow? Because he was commissioned by God to save, to be the answer for the world. To be the savior of God's people. Whew. 
Look at this. Mm. Jesus comes to the earth, born of a virgin woman, birth under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And look at this. Right from the beginning, they tried to take his life. They tried to snatch him out. They tried to ruin his destiny. They tried to destroy the answer. Oh my, oh my, oh my. God wouldn't let it happen. Bless me, Lord. Hallelujah. Because if they had been able to do it, the answer would have never been able to manifest itself. Jesus was the answer. He was like an eraser is on, <laughs> on a pencil. When there's a mistake, you get your eraser and, and remove it. Jesus was the answer to remove sin from the earth. Oh, my, my, my. Jesus was the answer. I'm going to say it again because you, you have to get this. Jesus was the answer. He was the medicine. He was, oh my God, he was the answer for sin. He was the remover. You know how we talk about, uh, uh, they see the commercial about Mr. Clean? You, you 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 use him in various ways and you he removes dirt <laughs> marks all that Jesus came to remove sin you we needed him God was tired of man doing whatever he thought about with his crazy imaginations and he was getting farther and farther and drifting farther and farther away from the love of God the devil was having his way in the hearts of men they found it better to sin they enjoyed sin better than righteousness But look at this, what the Bible says. Before the foundation of the world, Jesus was crucified. In the mind, in the mind of God, Jesus was already given. He was already the sacrifice. He was already the remedy. He was already the answer. To it, oh my God, to destroy sin once and for all. Look at this. Woo, good God Almighty. All we, look at, look, look the way Isaiah, Isaiah says, we all have gone astray and turned away everyone to his own way. Woo, everyone wanted to do what they were big enough to think they could do but god said the wages of sin is death but the gift of god you have to accept the gift no you don't deserve the gift no it's not your birthday no it's not your anniversary no oh god almighty 
you haven't done anything to deserve this gift. It's a gift from God. He gives you a gift. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Okay. But Isaiah says at this point of life, we all have gone astray. In the New Testament it said, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Wow. God wanted you to experience paradise with him. Eternity with him. Love with him. Jesus is the answer. That's the gift God gave to the earth. His only begotten son. This is a gift. Look at this. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. He's talking about Jesus. He has laid all, oh my on him the iniquity of us all. He put it on Jesus. Jesus knew his purpose. Jesus knew he was an intercessor, a mediator. Jesus knew his assignment was to carry. Oh my God. Was to carry the burden of sin. Jesus knew from the day he started walking. Shut up. Oh. His legs, his his legs was taking and feet were taking him somewhere. He had to walk out his trail. The assignment that was given to him by God. The whole time from the time Jesus left his parents' house. From the very time he went into the wilderness and was led to be tempted by the devil. And his ministry started. He knew his ministry was taking him somewhere. His journey was leading him somewhere. And he had to walk it out. The things he seen. The things he heard. The pain in people's hearts. The, oh my God. The tears and the sorrow and the grief. You know what you've been going through. And do you know what? Jesus went through all of that for you. He took all that for you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He took all that for you. And not one time ever complaining. Not one time. Not one time. knew his assignment and he embraced it he knew if he failed we would still be lost he knew if he quit oh god my god my god we will have no opportunity to be in the relationship with the almighty god jesus knew that 
He knew the consequences of his assignment. Good God Almighty. He knew. He knew everybody wouldn't want him. But he kept walking. He knew everybody would not worship him. He kept walking. He knew everybody would not praise him. But he kept walking. The very people he expected to be my God embraced with, they rejected him. They were more concerned about his credentials. They were mad because he put them on the spot. He was working miracles and wonder, and they had never done any of the things that he did. And that's the way God, God would do things that nobody else can do. My God, hallelujah. That's why it's very important. Don't allow doubt your God. Hang on in there. Believe him to the utmost. But look at this. This is the description of Jesus. Way before it happened. My God. It already had happened in the mind of God. But he tells Isaiah right. So they will know. He was oppressed and was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. He was a lamb of God. He was the lamb of God. Which take away the sins of the world. He was the Lamb of God who was slayed to take away the sins of the world. That was God's other plan. Jesus became the remover, the eraser, the exterminator. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. To take away sin. Healing, the miracles and wonders was just added treats. But his primary mission was to bridge the gap between man and God. To bring the two together. And look at this. Jesus, the night in which he was betrayed. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to say something else. I'm, I'm going to step back just for a moment. He started his mission 30 years old. He had three years to complete it. He had a short schedule on time to finish what he started. He had to whip 12 guys, 11, 12 guys into being disciples. Whew, good, somebody, get my gun. Oh God, I thank you. He did miracles and wonders. The demonstration of power and authority. Look at this. That's why he was so stern on, I must be about my father's business. Because the fact is, he's given me orders. He's given me an assignment. And I got to stick to my assignment. Nothing surprised him. Shut up. Nothing surprised him when that night he was taken from prison and from judgment. Look at this. They tell him he is arrested. He was taken from prison and from judgment. Who shall declare his, his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken.
the night in which he was arrested. He knew how it was going to play out. That's why he was in the garden. And he prayed. And he prayed. And he prayed. And he prayed. Because he knew he had to prepare himself for what was coming. But he kept, according to stretch schedule, he kept on point. Because all the time that they were rebuking him, they were beating on him, they spit on him, they slapped him, they talked about him, they ran down to him. He was thinking about you. What a mighty leader. What an awesome leader. He told the guards that night when they came in and, and grabbed everybody, he said, if it is I you want, here am I. Let these go. Wow. Because it was not God's will that they be taken. Only Christ. Christ knew he had to go alone. There was a time he would go the journey that he had to go. He had to go alone. No one else could participate in it. No more than the ones that didn't like him. The ones that hated him. They helped him. Shabbat. Oh God, how am I? God am I? They helped him and didn't know it. Look at here. Look at here. He made his grave with the wicked and with the rich. He had to do that. It was it was written. And and in order for that to happen, meant he had to give up the ghost. He had to give up this body. Like all of us will do one day. You have to give up this body. Here, Sheba. Mm. And look at this. Whew. He took your place. The grave, the cemetery, everything. The graveyard, the way you were supposed He took that. You were the one. We were the one that was supposed to be crucified. We were the one, Hashababo Kosa, that refused God. We were the one, Shama, guilty as charged. We were the one. And he went on the cross. A great crusader. Every blow they afflicted his body with. He was thinking about you. Look at that. He was thinking about you. From the sixth to the ninth. He as he was stretched. As the nails in his hand. The excruciating pain. And his feet. An open display. It wasn't an open display of crucifixion. It was an open display of love. It was an open display to the universe. The way God loved humanity. How We saw that day on God got the hill, the heart of God. And Jesus stayed in life 
till he finished everything he came to complete. Oh, y'all, this is wow. Oh, Jesus hung there till every word was fulfilled in the description of who he is. The Messiah didn't just come to heal and everything. He came to die. Wow. Whew. He came to abolish sin. He said in before the he that the sun set free is free indeed. Our flesh don't want to live that way. But those are the rules and principles of the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Let's go down some more. Look, after he made his great. Let's go to the temperate. Yet it pleased God to bruise him. He had put him to grief, my God. When thou shalt have made his soul an offering for sin. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. Remember in the Old Testament, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all great men, whenever the Lord did something for them, they abstracted, obstructed an altar. And they would get a dove, lamb, whatever the Spirit leads them to, and they would cut it. This man, it was a sacrifice. The sacrifice had meaning. Thank you. What God has revealed to me. They honored God in the sacrifice. And here it was. He who knew no sin. Laid down his life. Took on the form. Woo. Oh God almighty. This is so good. And said. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. God was proud of his son. And he never opened up his mouth to complain. He never said, why me? Why do always it got to be me? Why I got to go through it? He went through it like a real soldier, like a real trooper. He faced it. With faith and with courage. I will not. I can, I, oh, God almighty. I will not be defeated. Too many souls are counting on me, are relying on me to succeed. Oh my God, I just said something heavy. Whew. Too many people are counting on me. They're relying on me to be truthful, Tell them the truth. Finish my mission courageously, boldly. Wow. Illustrating the love and the body of us, our Christ, our Lord. You don't see anywhere in the New Testament in the any of the four Gospels, but look at this. Even.
even when the flesh got weak, he said, Father, if it were possible, if it were possible for this cup to be taken from me, nevertheless, nevertheless, he brings the flesh into subjection. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. You realize as you walk this life and you become more and more, that's why it's so important to be stay close to Christ. Because when you do, you realize it's not about you. It's about his will being done in your life. You're finishing out <coughs> what he told you to do. Your assignment is your assignment. Nobody else's. Hashababoko. And if you don't fulfill your assignment, you messes up somebody else's assignment. Because we're all connected. Shabbat. Look at Jesus. He said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. I'm here to glorify you, Father. If, if this is what it's going to take for the world to see your love and for your love to be expressed throughout the universe, to the whole world, ready to face whatever I have to. Yes, I'm ready to do what needs to be done. Yes, I don't have time to be distracted. Yes, this is the reason I'm here. This is the reason I was born. This is the reason why, oh my God, this is my purpose. This is purpose. That's why I tell you today, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever obstacles are in your way, I guarantee you, seek the Lord while he yet may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He will answer. Jesus died for your freedom. You sin can no longer hold you hostage. Jesus sets you free. Wow. Look at this. Because that's why he said, and sh he shall see his seed. What is the seed Jesus planted in the earth? Freedom. Your no sin can no longer hold you hostage. Mm. He shall prolong his days 
and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Look at here. The pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. He's going to be happy because he completed it. Wow. Shall he satisfy by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many for he shall bear their iniquity. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. I will give him a name that is above every name. The name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue confess. Mm. The strong, because, wow, he shall divide the spoil with the stronger because he had poured out his soul unto death. He was numbered with the transgression. He shall bear the sin of many and make intercessor. We have an intercessor for the transgressors. Wow. Jesus declared and spoke over us and declared you're free You're free to live a life of peace and joy and thankfulness. And this opportunity of this freedom is a gift from God. Unmerited favor. Undeserving. But God will count you worthy because of me. Let's go to the book of Romans. And I'm going to I'm going to shut down. You know, in the ways I just want to keep on talking. But look at this. Look what it says. <clears throat> this is what Jesus did. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. It is your flesh that gets you in trouble. It is your it is your flesh that kept you separated from God before. It is your flesh that had you in damnation. The acts of the flesh. Wow. And who would know that all of that is in there? For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, listen, have made me free from the law of sin and death. Sin leads to death. Listen to what I'm saying. Sin did, leads to death. The spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, he leads to life. For what the law could not do, in that we was weak through the flesh, God sending his son in the likeness, wow, in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness, righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and, and peace. I'm going into stuff that I want to talk about next week. I'm, I'm going to come back to this. Whew. Look at this. There's now no condemnation 
to them that are in Christ Jesus. Jesus did all that. Jesus removed you from being condemned. Then now when the Father looks at you, he sees Christ. He sees Jesus. Jesus did all of this. Jesus switched places with you. Oh my God. That's what Paul realized. Paul realized in the 8th chapter of Romans that there was an exchange. That's why when Nicodemus came to Christ, Christ told him a man must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Did you hear me? He must be born again. There must be a renewal. There, oh my God. So in the born again, woo, in the baptism is the removal, the washing away of your sins. It's the remission of sin, the washing. This is why there is baptism. You don't clean anything before it is like, oh my God, look at this, look at this. Oh God, there's such a download coming right now. Look at this. Oh Jesus. The exchange in the baptism, you declare, Lord, my God, my king, I believe what you did for me. I proclaim, I'm a child of God. You came to save me. You came to clean me up. You came to make me whole. You came to make me experience life in a, a more awesome way. You came to change me because I could not make it nor succeed the way I was. But here you said, give me you and I'll give you me. Oh my God. Woo! Hallelujah. Take on me and I'll take yours. I'll take your life. You take my life. Oh, did you hear what I say, believers? You take my life, and I'll take yours. And he took sin. Because that's all we were about. Condemnation was all over us. You might have been living and you might be living now, but you have never lived to the capacity that God has destined for you if you choose his way. There is so much potential and goodness and greatness in you, but you will never know it if you don't wake it up. But look at this. The water washes away the sin. And why? It has washed away. Now the Holy Ghost can come and fill you. The Holy Ghost will come in and the evidence of him in your life where he will speak and let it be known to the universe and to everyone that my God, he possesses you now. You are not told the spirit of Christ comes in you. And you become one. Just like Jesus said in John. That I and the Father are one. When you've seen me. You've seen the Father. Now he has another line. He says. Now when they see you. They see me. In you they see me. In you they hear me. In you they see. Oh my God. The power that possesses that is in you, they see me. It is all because of Christ.
I heard in a movie one day. And the man was having a war. That he realized there was a war going on inside of him. And he asked someone. Which one would prevail? And they said to him. The one you feed the most. Isn't that powerful? The one you feed the most. That's why Paul said that study to show thyself a workman who needed not to be ashamed, but rightfully dividing the word of truth. So you won't be ashamed of the word of God. Truth will set you free. And there's nothing in this world anyone can do with truth but accept it. And even more than that, embrace it. There's so much. And look at this. He did. Just for you. Just to let you know how much God loves you and is concerned about you and cares about you. If he didn't care, he would have never sacrificed his son. He would have never sacrifice this son. Jesus would have never needed to be sacrificed. The sacrifice of Christ was the last opportunity this world had to come to God. I'm going to say that again. Jesus is the last answer the world will ever have. It won't get another answer. Because the next time he comes, judgment is coming with him. Judgment is coming. This time he came in love. The next time he comes is in judgment. God loves you and you need to stop listening to the enemy that he doesn't. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. Did you just hear what I said? The ultimate sacrifice that God would accept and no other, no other sacrifice is ever and has ever been needed. And look at this. All you have to do is believe. He died. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put it in the right order. He lived. He died. He rose again. And he ascended into heaven just to show you what will happen to you. But if you reject it, then you have already passed sentence on yourself. Why it is still time, why it is still available you need to really consider what's at stake here. God loves you. God loves you. And it's all over his word. Wow. Be blessed. I, I enjoyed that. Whew. Wow. 
I really like that. Whew. Jesus is the only answer for the world today. Seek him while he yet may be found. Because there's going to come a time you won't be able to find him. You won't be able to find him. While he is there for you to find him. Grab a hold of him and don't you let go. Don't let go till he bless you. I pray these words have blessed your heart. I would love to hear from you. I just want to know, is this word blessing you? Are you, mm, are you encouraged? Are you strengthened? Bless Elder Warren like that. Bless Pastor Warren. I want to hear from you. And any prayer requests, send them to me, to Broken Home Ministry. I want to know them. And we will pray together. You are free to come to Christ. There's nothing holding you but you. Break away from yourself. I'm going to talk about that. Break away and come sit at the master's table hallelujah be blessed enjoy the rest of the weekend and i don't usually come on on mondays but i think i will be blessed in jesus name amen and amen